As a matter of fact, very significant itong list of companies na to. Ayaw mo nang hindi mo kilala. Because most of the incorporators are family members. Do you agree? Uh, hindi naman po sa ayaw ko. Most, at uh, least. Okay. Most. ba? Diba? Mm -hmm. Ang maliwanag alis, hindi ka sasama sa negosyo kung hindi mo kilala at hindi ka nagtitiwala sa taong kasama mo. Uh, yes po. Correct. Now, I wish to invite your attention to the Articles of Incorporation of Bao Fu. Secretariat, kindly flash. Nakikilala mo ba itong dokumentong ito? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. This is the Articles of Incorporation of Bao Fu, yes, correct? Po. Yes po. How about the signature across your name? Do you acknowledge that that belongs to you? Uh, yes po. Yes. Do you know Bao Ying Lin? Uh, Your Honor, uh, I think for the Bao Fu, uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination because I have pending case po with DOJ human trafficking po. Pero kanina lang, ang sabi mo, Miss Alice, you will not join any business venture unless kilala mo at pinagtitiwalaan mo ang mga tao na fellow incorporators mo. Tama? Do you yes. still confirm that? Uh, I confirm that, Your Honor. And that is enough, Miss Alice. And yes. And now let us proceed to the next incorporator. Please flash the articles of incorporation, please. Do you know Ru Jin Zhang? I invoke my right against self-incrimination po, Your Honor. But again, I, I wish to po. remind you, Miss Alice, of your earlier statement. Ang sabi mo, hindi ka sasama sa isang negosyo kung hindi mo kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga fellow incorporators mo. Your Honor, since may pending case po. Uh, I understand. Po po. Now let us proceed to the third incorporator, Zhang Wang. Do you know him? I invoke my right po ulit, uh, Your Honor. For the information of the committee, Mr. Chair, ito pong si Bao Ying Lin, fellow incorporator ni Alice Go O, sa Bao Fu, Bao Fu Corporation is convicted of 3 billion Singaporean dollar money laundering. And this after she made the statement na hindi siya sasama sa isang negosyo kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga kasama niya. With respect to Ru Jin Zhang, Mr. Chair, he is likewise convicted of 3 billion Singaporean dollar money laundering. Again, this is after her statement na hindi siya sasama sa isang negosyo kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang kasama niya. The third incorporator, Ziang Wang, Mr. Chair, used to be with Hongsheng Corporation, whom after the 2023 raid was charged of the crime of cyber, cyber crimes. Again, this is after the statement of Miss Alice go -Oh, na hindi siya sasama sa isang hanap buhay kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga taong kasama niya. I wish to manifest, Mr. Chair, that this representation humbly submit that Ms. Alice go -Oh purposely ran for public office in spite of her knowledge that she is not qualified, she being a Chinese national, to be able to welcome business establishments which she believes will bring growth and prosperity to the people of Banban and this business establishment includes Hongsheng, a pogo operator, and Yunzu Wan, also a pogo operator. As a matter of fact, Mr. Chair, dito po sa location ng dalawang company na to, which lease the property of Bao Fu, with whom Ms. Alice transferred her land in exchange of shareholdings sometime in 2021, while maintaining control of the same after the same date, dito po nahuli ang maraming Chinese nationals who are now charged of the cases of money laundering and even qualified human trafficking, Mr. Chair. 
Uh, Your Honor, if I may, just a short interjection. Eh, para lang ma matanong ko lang si uh, Miss uh, Alice Go. Yung bang mga nabanggit na mga pangalan ni Congresswoman Luistro, si Ziyang Wang, si Rujin Zhang, at saka si Bai Yong Lin, uh, did you say nakakilala mo, kikilala mo sila? Mr. Chair, ang kakilala ko po dyan talaga si Wang Ziyang. Si Wang Ziyang. So is this the same Wang Ziyang na nabanggit ni Congresswoman Luistro na nakonvict sa money laundering? Cyber. Cyber. As a cybercrime? Siya ba yun? Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi ko po alam na nakasuhan po siya ng cybercrime. Okay. So, ito uh, ba sila ay ano, nas galing sa isang probinsya sa China? Mr. Chair, um, nakilala ko po si Wang Jiang sa Clark. Sa Clark? Opo. But you know, nag mga galing sila sa China. Yung dalawa po, hindi ko po kilala. Okay, sige. Thank you. Uh, you may proceed, uh, Congressman Luis. No? There are speculations, Miss Alice, na itong Hong Sheng, ang Bao Fu, Zun Yu Wan, and you are one and the same. Do you agree? Totally not agree. Totally not. Listen to this. September 16, 2020. You signed the application in the Sangguniang Bayan of Bamban in behalf of Hong Sheng, applying for franchise, license, and permit. Uh, Your Honor, I did not sign any documents po. You did not sign. I did not sign. However, nakalagay po yung pangalan ko po dyan as representative, but I did not sign any documents po. Would you know kung sino ang naglagay ng pangalan mo? Your Honor, I have no idea. You have no idea. Next, Miss Alice. February 11, 2021, you executed a lease. Perhaps this is over the property of Baofu. With Hong Sheng, and during that time, Hong Sheng is represented by Telma Laranan. Do you confirm this? Your Honor, regarding Bao Fu, I invoked my right against self-incrimination po. Third, Miss Alice, early 2023, Hong Sheng was raided because of cybercrime. And one of your fellow incorporators in Bao Fu, which kanina sabi mo, doon mo transfer yung lupa mo sa bamban. One of your fellow incorporators, Zhang Wang, nakasuhan ng cybercrime. Do you confirm this? Your Honor, uh, hindi ko kinong-confirm. I have no idea nakasuhan po siya ng cyber. And after ma-raid itong Hong Sheng, Zun Yuan Technology applied for a business permit on the same address, on the same location, you were the mayor, you issued the permit. Do you confirm? Ma'am, I issued the permit with the attachment of Pagkar license. I understand. But what is apparent, Mr. Chair, well, there is a document where Alice Goo is described as representative of Hong Sheng back in September 16, 2020. This is the first POGO operator. It was followed by a contract of lease signed by Alice Goo with Hong Sheng. And then this was followed by the raid of Hong Sheng, which was replaced by Zun Yu Wan, which Alice Goo provided a business permit in her capacity as a mayor. I wish to share to the committee the doctrine of piercing the veil of corporate entity because it is very clear, Mr. Chair, Hong Sheng, Alice Goo, Bao Fu, and Zun Yu Wan are one and the same. Mr. Chair, I'm about to wind up, but I have a few questions left. Can we please show the last slide of two personalities with last name Yang? Secretariat, please. Alice, kilala mo ba to? Your Honor, hindi po. Can we flash the next picture? How about this picture? Your Honor, hindi po. 
Hindi ko rin po nakita, hindi ko po siya kilala. The first picture is Michael Yang, and the second picture is Hong Jung Yang. My question for you, bakit may joint account si Hong Jung Yang, kapatid ni Michael Yang, at si Yu Zheng Kan, na manager ng Hong Sheng? Your Honor, uh, hindi ko po alam yun. To wind up, Mr. Chair, I wish to make a very short manifestation. This representation might sound repetitive already, but it is apparent that this long chain of perpetration of the crime started with the abuse in the late registration of birth. Ms. Alice Goo was able to procure a birth certificate from the Philippines and even the Philippine passport which paved the avenue for her to run to a public office. I urge the House, let us strengthen our rules because if the loose rules on Filipino citizenship, including the rights attached to it, which must be exclusive to Filipino nationals, then we will be at the behest of the perpetrators of illegal activity. To add, Mr. Chair, the fictitious birth certificate even paved way to solicit identification cards from different government offices. That includes the DFA, the BIR, the LTO, and the similar government offices, Mr. Chair. Second, Mr. Chair, the layering by way of registration of various documents, making it appear that they are legit corporation, makes it harder for the Philippine government to verify and even monitor the illegal activities of these foreign nationals, Mr. Chair. So, I wish to suggest that we install a monitoring system with the SEC. We wish to recommend to the SEC that they install a monitoring system to make sure that the application for registration is legit, the operation is genuine, and the location is indeed existing. Third, Mr. Chair, illegal activities and illegal pogos will not proliferate if they are not able to transfer money. So, I humbly suggest as well, Mr. Chair, that we tighten our rules on anti-money laundering. Hindi po sila makakapag-perpetrate ng illegal activities if there are no funds which will fuel their illegal activities. I submit, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congresswoman Luistro.